Good morning. How is everybody today? I hope you're all very, 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 very well. Um, I just want to talk to you and remind you a little bit about morning routine. Now, I must admit I failed at this this morning. I did fail, and this is why it's called snooze you lose. So a good, a good morning routine that makes it starts my day really, really well to have a good morning routine. So hydrate, get some steps in, do some stretches, do some exercise, create your energy. Because when you've done it, that morning starts epic and you feel alive. You feel really, really good. And I'm not going to lie, this morning I snoozed my alarm. Bad idea. But if you want an epic morning, hydrate, steps, do some stretches, get some exercise in, get a shower, dress nice and be confident and you'll smash today. Morning, Campbell. You all right, buddy? Uh, but yeah, I failed this morning. I pressed snooze on my alarm and it just all went out at window. I went to do my live video. My battery nearly ran out on my phone. It's like karma, isn't it? I'm like, oh no. So <laughs> I cancelled it. I had to go and charge my phone for half an hour before I could do it. Morning, Jason. Yeah, I know. Campbell, I feel it this morning. I feel. Uh, to be fair, I'm aching everywhere. My legs are aching, my calves are aching, my biceps, triceps, my back, my chest. Everything's just hurting. <laughs> but I'm going to turn it round and I am going to go to the gym and I'm going to work around it and do what I can. So a great morning routine does set you up for a great day. Honestly, don't press snooze. Whatever you do, it's like it's like devil button. <laughs> If you're watching, say hello. If you're watching later, hashtag replay. Um, so, I was watching... Oh, in fact, before that, one thing I really... Well, I said when I just mean don't press snooze. If you're having 10 hours in bed and you get up two hours earlier, you create, over a year, one whole month of time. So, if anybody ever says, you ain't got to... Campbell, really? Mum sends you kisses. Come on, man. <laughs> I'll send you some kisses back, mother. Don't want... <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, my God. Mother. Right, so... You've made me lose what I were on about now. So, uh, anyway, I was watching a programme last night about some politician. Um, I'm going to have to read some of these because I wrote some stats down and they're, they're actually... It's quite scary. I don't know if... Did anybody else watch it? It was about a politician that... Had quite a bad diet, put a hell of a lot of weight on. And he got, uh, he went to the doctors and they told him he'd got type 2 diabetes and he had to do something about it. So he cut all his sugars out, out of his diet. Um, and he did lose weight, he did lose weight, but I wrote some stats down. And it was saying, obviously, type 2 diabetes, it's, it's, it's a silent killer, but UK's got highest rate of obesity in, in Europe. And it affects your retinas, lungs, kidneys, heart, Everything gets damaged and there's not really much you can do about it. Once it's done, it's done. Um, but obviously you can try and lose weight and, and prolong it and make it better. Um, but it's scary to think that it brings it real, doesn't it? Because the food we're eating and drinking and whatever else we're doing, we're causing this issue. Now, I don't think we realise, do we know what's in us food? Because... I don't think we do a lot of time. And I think something we need to do is, is, is definitely track food. Have a look at what's in it. Use my fitness pal as an app. Do it. But I totally get it because when I used to drink a lot or when I and I used to eat takeaways, stuff like that, did I care? No, I didn't care. It brings it real when a doctor, when you sat in front of a doctor and a doctor's diagnosing you with whatever it is. And that makes it real. And that makes us change. But why would we want to wait till that uh, that time? I wouldn't want to wait till that time. And I'm glad I started realising what were in my food and what were making me the way I were. Obviously, I was drinking quite a lot. And I get it. I didn't care at the time. I didn't care. Grilled bacon is calling me. Grilled bacon's all right, buddy. Bacon medallion. Less fat. That means you can spend your fat on chocolate later. Yeah, man. Who's watching? Mother. Mother. I can't stop. <laughs> well, that's really funny. Uh, but yeah, we don't care, do we? We don't care about how much what's in us food at time. 
and I totally get it because I've been there, I've done it. it do, and, and until something happens or we have this epiphany where we think we've just got to do it, we've, we've got to lose weight, we're unhappy with ourselves. If you're unhappy, it's hard. Changing yourself, eating better, doing some exercise is hard. But you're going to be a lot better off further down the line doing that one. But you've got to choose your hard. What do you want? Anybody that watches these videos watches them for a reason because they want some help. They want to change something. They're not totally happy with something. And I get it because I used to do it. And I used to lurk and I used to sit and I used to watch. And it is. You've got to do it. You've got to take the plunge. But anyway, I'll go into some more stats. It said 60% of women and 69% of men are obese in UK. That's crazy, isn't it? I don't see that. I don't see that when I walk about shopping centres or whatever. I don't see that. But it is. It, it's, it's scary to think that's how we were. In late 90s, 2% of, uh, of people in the UK uh, had diabetes. Now we're up to 6%. If you think how many millions are in the UK, that, that, is a, that is a big, big number, isn't it? It's a big number. And it's scary. But you have to do something about it. You have to change yourself. Find out what's in your food that you're eating. Just scan it. Scan a day on my fitness pal and realise what it is you're eating. Because more than likely, without any other help, you will be able to see that, oh my God, my carbs are absolutely ridiculous. I don't have any protein. My fat's off at scale. My trans fats are absolutely r ridiculous. At least you're going to have an idea of what things you can change yourself if you do nothing else and you just change a few foods. You change anything over a long time, it's going to have a big difference. You're going to see a difference. You're going to feel a difference. So just do it. Just do them little things. It's not going to make, it's not, not going to be life changing. Just changing a few foods. So know what we eat, scan it, and just be aware. At least be aware so you know what it is you can do. Um, obviously, I make these videos to help you guys. So if you can drop a love heart, drop a comment, hashtag replay if you're watching later, share it, send comment some stuff you want me to talk about, and I'll talk about anything. As, as long as I know what I'm talking about, that's fine. I'll help you in any way I can. If it's weight loss, muscle gain, whatever it is, don't ask me, can I just tone my stomach? Because toning, you're either weight, losing fat or you're building muscle. We don't, there's no thing of toning. I know it's just a word that's bounded about, but yeah. Um, I have a lot of people say, do I need to go to the gym? No, you don't. I did all my weight loss, 90% of it anyway, at home, in my garden or in the living room. Anybody can do it. So just about getting moving. Do I need to eat certain foods? I don't like fish. I don't like this. I don't like that. I don't choose your foods. You choose your foods. Mother, you're making me laugh. I can't stop thinking about stupid. I'm, I'm going to have to ring you in a bit and get it off my chest. <laughs> Hush, po, it's true. I'm going to do whole body workout today. Excellent, mother. But yeah, all you need to do is just get moving. Make today better than yesterday. Don't have to go mega. We don't have to go well over the top. We don't have to be an all or nothing person and go crazy. Realise what's wrong. Change a few little things. Get a little bit more steps in. Pick a dumbbell up. Do a fitness band routine. Whatever it is. It doesn't take long and you'll be fine. You'll make a big difference. So anyone that watches, reaches out. Like I said, you obviously want help. You're just not willing to do it right now. So what I want you to do, guys, is think about what you want. I'm going to tell you, it's £89 for six weeks. If you join up now, it doesn't start about 10th of May. So from now, I'll get you straight started. So you actually get just over seven weeks. It's what it is. I get so many people asking me price. There's a link. I think it's above. Might be below. I'm not sure. Up or down. There's a link on this. Have a look. Just have a look. Have a click. Don't hurt now. Have a click, have a look, have a read. If you think it's for you and you're ready, you actually want to make a difference in your life, then do it. Because I want people that want to make a difference. There's no quick fixes. Sometimes we're going to find it hard. I'm finding it hard this morning. I'm aching, whatever. 
I'm still going to go to the gym and I'm going to prove to myself that I can still do it. And after the gym, there's no way I'll be thinking to myself, I really regret that workout because I won't and nobody else will. Mother you've clicked some or Campbell has, I don't know what it is. I'll have a look in a minute. It's come up with a little thing. Guest, rep guest requests. Oh, you wanted to join? I get it. No, you're not, because you'll, you'll, your mother will just be laughing in the background. I'm not doing it. <laughs> so, if you need anything, guys, drop me a comment, drop me a DM. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you want me to talk about anything, let me know. But if you want to be summer ready, you want to be confident, you want to have lost body fat, you want to have gained some muscle, this is where you need to be. See you tomorrow, guys.